After being away for several years, the Garifuna kids are back in Belize to pay homage to the birthplace of Punta Rock music. The Honduran band was established in the late 90s and has been churning out Garifuna themed music for decades. Jorge Roches, one of the founders and owners, says their visit to Belize was essential given its importance to the Garifuna people and culture. This is very uh, significant moment for us being back after a couple years. Uh, remember we came uh, for the first time to Belize back in the 90s, uh, 1995 to be precise. And after that, well, we're here just, just to revisit and continue that work that we started back then a couple of years ago. And, you know, everything started here in Belize. You know, the, the place of birth of Punta Rock music is Belize. So we take this country really, really serious and, you know, with a lot of respect uh, when it comes to our music. And, you know, we also thank them for starting that uh, journey. And, you know, it's, uh, now you see, we see it as a responsibility to continue what a couple of Belizeans started. Dennis Roach is a founder of the group and Honduras's cultural ambassador says the visit to Belize also includes re-establishing ties between the band and the Belizeans who have been working to keep the culture alive. Uh, we have all the people here that's always behind the scene, behind the cameras that you don't see, that has done so much for the Garifuna music, for the black music of Belize, for all Belizean music, and you, you hardly know them, you know. And uh, I want to mention uh, one of them is Rene Villanueva, and his son, Rene Villanueva Jr. We have a good friendship from way back. And um, come and see them, meet them after uh, many years is really a special moment for us. And the band is doing its part to ensure that future generations can be able to enjoy the music of their ancestors. Herman Roches Jr. is the lead vocalist and musical director of the Black Men's Soul, the next chapter of the Garifuna Kids, and says he takes immense pride in sharing his culture with the world. Uh, that, that's a big responsibility because, you know, you have to, you have a lot in your back and that's a lot of work. Uh, to, to, to keep the culture, you know, to keep the youngest, the, the people that are coming back to you. In 2024, the International Decade for People of African Descent, which was established by the UN General Assembly in 2013, comes to an end. Honduras's cultural ambassador, Dennis Roches, explained that it is important to highlight the work that Belize has been doing during this period to keep black history alive. So Belize has given a lot. And uh, we are here to meet brothers, sisters, and meet our uh, government members so we could sit around the table and set up uh, a good strategy of how to highlight these, uh, these good things that we have given to the world. But due to the different reasons, discrimination, segregation, you name it, you know, they don't really want to... Uh, 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 let the, the world know all those positive things that we have given to the society. Vigilvers, Love News.